So here she is, in all her glory. We got the. This is one thing I've got to do: get some new fenders down this side. Give this and take these off, and give these a paint on, or some new decals on them. These can come off; they're only bolted on. Bit of paint on there. There's, that window leaks a little bit, so a bit of resealing on there. Get take these off at some point. Give them a good wash. You can see it's all built up around there and all around the front and everything. Canopy's brand new, still canopy. <laughs> Only about a year old. <laughs> you step in here. You can see where I've started doing, laying some new flooring down because it just wasn't very, weren't very secure here. Um, then I'm gonna lay some wooden panels and everything. And paint this, that's the bottom of the chair all gray, just like this. And the, the, I've painted that. This opens out into, a little find the latch. So it turns out into a little table. So if you need it. Back up. It's a door for the cabin. Um steering wheel all needs a clean and everything. The mechanics are all good. It's got a 9.9 .9 Mercury on it. Battery isolated down there. Um all the fuel pump and everything under there. I'm gonna give that another paint. I've given it one coat, but as you can see, it's a bit patchy and where it got kicked yesterday as well. Um, and then just an overall good clean, and then inside, you can see the colour of the cushions. They just need reupholstering. This blue, I'm probably going to swap it for some grey carpet or something of the sort. Um, and on the ceiling here, it needs all look good clean, and then probably scrape off the flaking paint and give it another coat of white. Um, but in here, we've got like a little storage area. We've got all storage underneath all the seats and everything. Um, and then even if I move this, you've got even more storage in there and everything. So, just needs a good old tidy. And obviously a clean on these windows in here and everything. And a bit more paint and then paint the back of these doors and the clean along the floor and everywhere like that um so yeah all the back just needs a clean as well um and then on the outside there's a little bit of cleaning to do as you can see it's just a bit dirty there was a shetland sticker on here um i take these off um whereas on the other side i'll just put this and uh, that you can see the Shetlands on there. There was only the Shetland symbol and the D left on it, so but you've got the navigation lights on the side which are controlled from here. Pushing them down on the isolators in there. But I'm probably gonna leave this that colour fold and see and just paint all this wood grey. Um, but today we can get this flooring down and then maybe take a wrap, take this off to give this a good clean. Um, and yeah, I need to do something here because everyone steps in onto, onto their seat. Um, I don't know whether I'll install some stairs there, but they kind of need to be on both sides because obviously you can get in here for this one um, when you're on this dark part in locks and stuff and then we've just got around here that needs bending back and everything got a mega moth in there um so yeah let's get started with laying the rest of this floor and i've got another uh, another length of wood to do that uh, to do this bit and then that should be us and then i'll go to bnq and get the planks or whatever i'm going to put down so let's get it. So I don't really know how well you can see this, but I've got some 12 mil hard ply, just like the stuff that's down. Um, it's a bit frayed, but I just got to put this bit on here. So I've got a bit of an awkward cut around there and uh, around there. But yeah, shouldn't be too hard. And then 
just a couple of fixings to hold it down in the centre, nothing, nothing around the sides. Um, and then we're probably going to foam it and then, as I said, I'll go to being and get all that stuff. So, yeah, let's get sorted. Right, so what I've done is I've got this board down, I've put a couple of screws in it, um, and I've put one in there, and I just put these to, to cover them up, and they're all secure, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to roll some foam out here, probably, um, and as long as there's no lips or anything, um, the floorboards will cover all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack these tools away, give this another coat of grey, um, and then probably give this another coat, or well, first coat, and then anything on this door, another coat of grey. Um, just so when I lay these floorboards down, I don't get grey or paint all over them, pretty much. So I'm going to get them floorboards down, and get them after I've got the paint, and then we're pretty much ready to go. Right, so I've given that bit another coat of grey. Um, I haven't managed to get this bit done on there. Um, so I've got that bit to paint, um, and that shouldn't take me too long. I'm just going to go and have a look at the flooring now. Um, right, so I went to b and yesterday, and I've found this lovely solid oak flooring. Um, so what I've done is I've spray f sprayed this foam down, um, just to cover any imperfections in the wood or anything like it. Um, and then I've put two of these down, um, and now I'm just going to get the rest cut. Um, and laid um, obviously I got it a bit tricky around there but apart from that and around here but I can get it round as best as I can and see how it goes so I'll keep you updated right so what I've done I've got most of this laid all around here I've got this cut um, which I'll just master it probably um, but it's a bit better on the other side. Um, but around the edges, it all looks alright. I've got just a cut. I've got two planks of wood left. Um, I've got super glue all over my fingers. But I've got this cut all around here. Um, so I'm probably bring it, bring the try and cut, but get the cut about there. So it's level with this. Perk. Um, I've got that piece and then I've got a whole new one in the box. Um, so I'm going to come back tomorrow to lay them and then obviously fill all around that. Um, and then I'll cut all this fine back um, and put a handle on here so we can eat this easily accessible. Um, and then hopefully take it out tomorrow and give it a good clean in there from just basically all the rubbish from what I've been doing. Um, and maybe give it some more grey paint. Um, and then I've got all in here, there's these on this all needs to come off so that I can get all that dirt out from under there. I'm going to wrap it up today um, and I'll be back tomorrow um, to get, just finish off this flooring and move on to a few more bits. So it's gone right. two days later and a lot of work. Uh, we are finally got this nice laminate flooring all laid. So as I said before we got this to fill around here and this to fill around here but this cut that's one cut then it's got that cut to the wall to the edge of the boat there um, so that's all done so all I've got to do now is fill these um, but in, inside we've given all this a good clean this has been all leather detail along with this we clean this seat however people were stepping on it yesterday so yeah I mean there's not much I can do about that um and then I've just got to give this all a good tidy and everything but the steering wheel's had another clean um all the controls all on here so it looks a lot better I can't decide what to do with this I don't know whether to paint this grey or 
kind of leave it and restore it and I don't know maybe varnish it or some sort um, but outside is getting there now because that's had another coat of grey I was just going to put a handle on there um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video